What's up, Rockstars? Welcome to a fun video. This is actually focused on terrain. If you want to know the top 10 Patreon tribes locations, you can get some 3D printed terrain. I have a video for you. As always, a huge shout out to my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. If you appreciate the videos, I make every single week for you guys. And you can give even a dollar a month. There is a link down in the description below. Thank you so much. Also, a huge shout out to the channel sponsor, Game War Create. If you see anything you like in this episode, you can contact them to print it for you, or you can browse their section. Actually, let's go ahead and dive right in here. This is their website. You go to miniatures. You go to tabletop terrain and scenery and you're going to get pages and pages and pages of scenery. One of the difficult things with terrain, with scenery, with stuff like that, is it's a lot of different pieces. There's typically a lot of assembly or, or difficulties around that, uh, especially when it comes to knowing even like uh, how to clean it up properly, stuff like that, especially with these thicker pieces, or you need a big printer to print them. That's where a company like Gameware Create comes in. They can print out all the buildings you want, the dice towers, the altars, the, the center pieces of the table, whatever you want for your RPG, for your skirmish war game, whatever it might be, even if you're just spicing up a board game, they will handle that for you. So go and check them out in the description below and linked right there in the comments for you. Game or Create, definitely a go-to place for that. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start with this top 10 list. Now, this is a fun one and realize that this is just my top 10. So if you have another one that you think deserves a spot in this or what your top 10 would be, feel free to share with everybody down in the comments below. Let us know. If nothing else, you might even let me know about it so that I can then cover it in the future more. So if you like a certain company for their terrain, do let us all know. We're going to start out with Dragon Workshop. Now, this is kind of a fun one because it's just a unique, um, I don't know, they have a unique style, right? And I always appreciate it. I kind of said it in my previous 3D printing videos that I really, uh, there's a lot of Patreons. There's a lot of tribes. There's a lot of places I can go to get 3D printed objects or STLs. And I like things that are unique. So instantly, just by looking at it and seeing like the, the airships and the, and the sail ships, stuff like that, that looks like a lot of fun. It looks super cool and unique. And they follow through with a lot of other stuff too. Uh, they are constantly just outputting more and more stuff. And it's a wide variety of things. So like here they have this thing called the Amber Temple that they're kind of working out here, which looks cool. And they're constantly just um, you know, making little doodads and showing them off and what this is. You can look at this. This is like a, a more of a, uh, a an Asian theme almost, or like a, um, a, 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 a I, don't, I don't know what that is. It's like when, I don't know if it's like Mongolian or what. It's an interesting, interesting looking uh, uh, design. And they, again, they just do all these different kinds of cool rooms and corridors and stuff like that. Very much, I would say, RPG focused when it comes to this. But if you want to ever do a custom map for anything, even like, you know, so you have Conan or something like that, you get all the little doodads and scatter terrain and all that kind of stuff that you'd want. And again, it's a huge variety of different things that they do, which I think is pretty cool. And sub 10 bucks. Heck yeah. Why not? Next up, we have Dark Realms. Dark Realms is another one that does a similar kind of thing where they're just constantly churning out stuff. And again, the variety is huge. And so they will just go all in on something. So right now they're doing like this kind of castle thing right now. And so right now, <laughs> right now. And so you're going to get like the catapults and stuff like that. And they've finished this giant tower. And you can see when I talked about all the parts, this is what I'm talking about. If you don't want to deal with this, like I, I love printing terrain. I love the fact that I can get terrain. But once I get to this level, I'm kind of out of it. It's just, it's too much work on my part. I would just want to buy it essentially, if that makes sense. That's where Game Work Create comes in because this is a lot. But if you have a big printer or if you got the time to put all this together or you love the customization of being able to build however you want, then this is definitely for you. Uh, I want to scroll down a little bit. You can see this is what they were doing before. So again, a wide variety uh, when it comes to like what they're doing. And as you can see, it's not just like a big piece. Like you can customize this uh, immensely, immensely. So this is like the ultimate customization one, which is kind of why I think it gets in my top 10 list here, just because I really like the variety of that. I think that's super cool. Next up, we also have Asgard Rising. They are a very common name when it comes to just like, they do a lot of like uh, Kickstarters and stuff like that. They do a lot of miniatures, like, you know, people, you know, like the normal stuff, but they do have this terrain section as well, where they have terrain plus their war bands. And you can kind of give an example here. It's spread throughout. I'm not going to go and scroll through all of it, but you can kind of see they have the scatter stuff. They got walls. They got like in this one, you get the miners, but then you also get the mine. 
right? And so they, it's always tied with what they're doing. And it's always looks like really good stuff. Like you get a lot of um like lava rocks and stuff, or you get a lot of gems. This is like I've I have not seen gems like this, especially with the cuts and kind of nicks in it and stuff like that. That's unique. And again, I always appreciate the uniqueness there. That and tying it with the minis and having a common theme, I think is quite nice as well. And that one that was at 13, but the quality is really high and you are getting all those minis, but there isn't really an option just to get the terrain. So uh, that, that that is kind of a bummer. Next up we have Fantastic Plants and Rocks. I've covered their campaign several times actually, and th they have a tribe uh, over here on my mini factory. 607 people already signed up and that's because they're just constantly making good stuff. People love their stuff. It prints out well. It's super unique looking like, look at this like bone plants. I love this. I've never seen this before. I want to fight some corn berserkers with bone plants. Like that sounds awesome. But they have just a ton of, if you want something more whimsical, they got stuff like this, or maybe it's in a, a, a very fancy like palace area and there's, you know, hedges and whatnot. I mean, there's just so much cool stuff. And as you can see, the scale is actually quite big. It, it may look kind of small here. It's like, oh, that's a bush. No, that's not a bush. But I mean, just tons of really interesting and unique and fun things. Like these, these stick arrangements, love it. I think that's awesome. So they are constantly doing this. Feel free to check it out. Um, and th th they do great stuff. And you get a, a discount and you get tied in with all the campaign stuff and whatnot. So definitely, I think, a good deal there. Following that up, we have 3D hexes. They do a lot of like big stuff. As you can see here from the scale, like this is, this is big. Here's their welcome pack. You can kind of see that it's a, a wide variety of different things. Look at these round buildings and giant mushrooms and warp gates and, you know, ruins and all, like everything in between. This is their, I think, current thing they're doing right now. It's kind of a, um, uh, like a, a Egyptian style, Middle Eastern kind of, like ancient, uh, you can see like the, the kind of stuff there, like, like, like you would see temples and stuff like that there, I think, which would be super cool to see. But they also have wonderful designs. Do you see this? Like really cool designs on them, which I, I again, just stands out to me as something different. But yeah, the, the, they're big, they're not small. Okay, so these these are these are these are big boys, but they do have a lot of like scatter terrain and stuff like that too. But this kind of stuff, I just feel like it's such a, a centerpiece material where it's like, oh, everybody's trying to get to that area. Uh, it, it's cool. I love it. I love the uniqueness of it. I love the variety that they have. Just every single time, it's so different, and I think it's just real. I mean, yeah, guys. Come on, look at that stuff. Come on, come on, it looks great. Love it. So yeah, they're definitely doing some great work here. And uh, again, all this is linked down in the description below. All right, next up, we have Gamescape 3D. They are here for, first of all, the price. Five bucks a month, come on now. But just the, the sheer, like, um, like, bigness of it bigness is that a word so for instance uh i'm gonna actually dive in let's go to the full september uh release this is what you can actually get this month all of this five bucks come on come on i mean it, and it's not just like like it's it's really really big full stuff you can do dioramas you can like set them up pretty much however you want and i think it's super neat um it, it, just the fact that they print this out and show you i think is awesome uh, as uh, yeah, a, a ton of stuff. Five bucks. I mean, it's it's a no brainer. Feel free again to check them out as well. Next up, this is one of my favorite. Actually, well, of course, it's higher up on the list here. Uh, Tixarly Factory. I can never even say their name, which is unfortunate. I always feel if you like make a company, you should like make it like easily pronounced by us dumb English speaking people because we struggle with our own language. I can't do no Tixarly stuff, but. Besides the name, the stuff is great. I have Necrons and I want this. I have Warhammer and I want this and I want this and I want, and I have Infinity. I think this will actually look really cool for Infinity. So like there's just a ton of fun stuff. The uh, welcome pack is, as you can see, uh, quite massive. They even have like the trenches. They got a whole bunch of like uh, crystal terrain and stuff here. You can see all the July stuff. I mean, it's a ton of stuff. You will receive a new set of STO files to build your train elements with every single month for like eight bucks. So it's a real cheap thing. And again, it looks awesome. So this is kind of what they're doing month to month. And again, it's a big, wide variety of awesomeness. 
and I, I think it's great. And as you can see, they just have free stuff. They have, you know, uh, ruins. They have scattered terrain. They uh, have, like, the this awesome, more larger terrain pieces that go with more stuff. And again, you can get all this printed at Game Work Create if you need it. But um, if not, I mean, go to town. Eight bucks. Come on. All right. The Dragon's Rest awesome stuff awesome this is cool this is cool nine bucks a month it, it, guys all this is like sub 10 a month like it's not a whole lot here they're actually approaching a thousand patrons which i think is super cool and as you can see unique stuff again i love seeing things i've not seen before i've not seen cages hanging from a bridge since i played demon souls on the ps5 again like this is awesome i really dig this i think it's super cool it looks like it fits together really well it looks like it'll print out quite nicely i love it and again just such great looking stuff i love the scroll or the like rune system kind of stuff in there i love the tunnel underneath i think that's super cool i don't know how far that alcove goes but it's very, very cool. I love the, I mean, it got, it just, it looks so good to me. And that's just one piece, but look at the variety. Then they have like graveyard stuff. If you want to actually have like a graveyard with, you know, the skeletons coming out, they can do that. You want to have a special one that's all wrapped up and padlocked. You got it. I mean, you can do a whole set there. Or how about like a um, Indiana Jones temple thing going on here. They're going to like take out somebody's heart here or something. Looks awesome. I dig it. I think all of this looks great. And again, they just keep doing amazing stuff. Look at this. Whew, dear Lord, that looks awesome. It looks fantastic. So this stuff is great. And again, I've not seen anybody doing anything quite like this before. So nine bucks, Dragon's Rest, okay by me. All right, now we're almost getting there. How about Savant 3D, Savant 3D? I don't know if the W is like a V here or we're doing like a, some kind of weird German stuff. I don't know. But uh, what I do know is I want <laughs> this stuff. It looks cool. Again, nine bucks a month. Even if, if nothing else, you can get the welcome pack for 350. I mean, do. Okay. This stuff, as you can see, quite large, looks great. Look at this stuff, guys. If it'll load. I mean, this is just really good stuff. It's going to be slow loading. Looks great. Looks great. Uh, a lot of this actually reminds me of, um, like, I played a game called Grim Dawn an ARPG uh, PC game and this reminds me of like the starting area a lot the kind of the the, the broken houses with just like a little few scatter things you can like break <laughs> it's typical what it is um, I love it but the, the, the trees and stuff that I mean that yeah, looks great that's August and they just do more oh, that stuff looks so good they just do a ton of great cool looking stuff so uh, definitely check them out as well and then finally we have Infinite Dimensions games. Guys, I wanted to pick out one that I thought was super high quality, that looked super cool, that's doing a lot of neat stuff that you may have not heard of before. This is not the biggest and best thing ever when it comes to how well they're doing, but they are doing quite well, well deserved. 530 subs on Tribes. And again, the Welcome the Citizen thing, two bucks adventurer 10 bucks what does 10 bucks give you well a lot of stuff right but like look at i mean just guys the the detail stuff here is great i really like seeing it actually printed out i think that's awesome but i love the like little mechanisms you get with like the drawbridge and moving in and stuff like that anytime you're offering stuff that's like um manipulative like you can actually manipulate the terrain i think that's great and again this stuff looks cool this is the ruined temple this is part two of the tower so again they really invest in certain like areas which i appreciate sometimes you get a terrain thing that gives you not quite enough for a whole table and then they move on to something else which i love the variety but it's like well i wanted a whole table's worth of stuff here you get that here because they tend to kind of stick with a lot of this larger stuff here where you just get so many awesome pieces you can put together i mean this would be such a joy to uh to 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 play on I, I i can't imagine playing a game on this and so they do a lot of really i mean you can see look at that it just looks great look at the like rope log kind of path there and stuff looks super good love the ruins i think that looks great they got some great scatter terrain going on here it just looks darn pretty i dig it Lo yeah all of this is useful for a variety of things love the little gates and stuff like that again just super cool that's like this is like the central piece here and they're really investing in that and i really dig that so 
that is the top 10 for terrain that I have. Let me know if you would add anything to this or take it away. What's your opinion on these? And of course, feel free to go ahead and check out Gameware Create. They are linked down below as well. If you liked anything you saw here, they can print it out for you. Go ahead and check them out. And with that, I'll let you guys go. Take care, guys. Bye.